Hi folks, Anita here and welcome back to my channel and most likely this is already the new year. So happy 2019 everybody. Uh, if you are new, please, please, please hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell. That way you get notifications of whenever I upload a new video. And for those of you that are returning, thank you for returning. First off, again, I do apologize. I do have my heater going on, so it's a little weird sounding. Um, it is still cold. Um, I came out of work this morning, and I almost couldn't get in my car because my lock was frozen shut. Luckily, my trunk, I was able to unlock that and find some um, anti-freeze, not anti-freeze, um, de-icer for the windshield and I just kind of poured that on the lock and was able to get my key in there and kind of twist it open. Alright, anyways, <laughs> let's get into it. So this is my January layout and I'm just going to go over my debt numbers. Um, and also just give you an update, I did um, go ahead and write down $5 for each of these savings. That is in reference to my long game savings. And then just a full savings scale of $20. Um, so I have a couple of different goals for this year. Um, first off, let's go ahead and take a look at last month's total debt pay, um, my debt. So this was taken um, on the 29th, so I had paid $97.50 in November. And with everything that's on here, I was at $58,476.14. Now, let's fast forward to January. Alright, so it's pretty much the same thing. I have changed it, like I said. Um, so I still include the interest rate, and then I put this here. Um, for the next few months, I will not be putting this one. This was just a reference as to when it, for the new year. Um, because the prime rate goes up, I wanted to see kind of how often it fluctuates. I will probably take a relook at this every four months, um, just to kind of see. Maybe even every three months, we'll see. So, um, as you can see down here, I paid off. $886.22 in December. Um, when I was adding all this up, I totally missed one of them. I had like 54000 or something like that. And I was like, there is no way that I paid four grand. I don't even make that much of a month. Um, so I was like, what the hell? Um, and I, I just wrote it down because I hadn't looked at what my pre previous one was. Um, so I re-added everything, and yeah, so I paid eight eighty six twenty two in principal amounts. Um, I know I paid more, including um, interest, but in principal, hey, that's cool. Um, so at one point, I did have Torrid on here. I had like a hundred and twenty dollars. So technically, you could add a hundred and twenty to that. But because I didn't have it on the previous one, and I just charged it my, to my card for a second, and then I repaid it, you know, I just went ahead and said that. Um, so my goal for the month of January is to pay off my Indigo card, which as you can see is 207.13, and I want to begin my care credit payoff. So my care credit is $1,166. Um, so, and when I say begin, I mean like after my Indigo card is paid off, then my, and my Snowball amount will go towards that card. So, with that being shown here, let me get the piece of paper. Alright, so I just kind of made this up. This was just a little tiny thing here. Um, it's kind of my goal, my financial goal for, financial goals for 2019. I do want to have an emergency fund worth $500. I know Dave Ramsey says, it sounds like a thousand, um, 
for right now this year it's 500 because we do have other things going on um so yeah build my emergency fund to 500 i want to pay off two cards before my Naviant starts in March. So the two cards, and actually, I realize I need to fix this. Um, because this was um, something I wrote, and then it was like, <clears throat> it was based off of the snowball amounts. And then over the last couple of days, I have been th thinking more and more about it. And, um, so I want to actually do my care credit because I have, um, a 0% interest promo that's on it. So I want to get that one paid off. Um, and then by the end of the year, and actually, <coughs> excuse me. March end of the year and let's go two three um <coughs> excuse me by the end of the year I want to get my I'll have my fidelity one paid off and then I want to get my Naviant four paid off and then first premiere and this is the first one I suspect by the end of the year I will already have my Merrick paid off so um, either that or I'll have this one paid off it's gonna be one or the other because it's they're both kind of right there um, but I kind of want to get this one paid off first after that just because um, well my not went for it it's because of the um, the balances Sorry. Um, Navient doesn't really have too much of an interest. It's got like four point. Oh, it's one of my earlier ones. I think it's a six point eight percent. But I just want to get it paid off. Um, I do plan on doing kind of more of Dave's, Dave Ramsey's snowball effect as far as going from the lowest balance to the highest. Um, so once I pay off that first premiere, I'm actually going to close it. Um, and that is because I want to um, avoid paying that $10 fee every month. Um, so my other couple of goals are to keep track of payments and interest paid on each debt. So every month that I pay on a debt, I want to actually kind of try and keep track of how much I am paying um, towards the principal and how much I'm paying per the interest every paycheck or every payment that I make. Um, and then of course catch up and keep current on non-collection MGH and medical bills. So that is just basically, and I've kind of already done that, um, I've already caught up to them. So what I'm referring to is if you watch a couple of my other videos, which I will try to place them up here. But a while back, I ended up, so this is how I keep track of them, but um, I ended up making these progress trackers. Um, so I've already kind of filled out some of these ones here. And let me actually just zoom you guys out. There we go. Alright, so I've already kind of, you know, paid off a couple of these already. Um, but so my next one is $25 and then $25.47. I think I have five of them. So I have this one here and this one, I need to update this one. Um, yeah. So basically my non-collection bills are these here. Um, a couple more. And these are the two that I just kind of got up to date with. So the reason why I'm going to do the care credit and I need to update the care credit as well. Um, so 
my first crown was six forty seven thirty. My second crown that I had was five seventy nine fifty. Well, then when I went in just recently last month, um, I ended up putting another, I think like two hundred dollars and something, and so I have six months to pay that. So, um, I think that one and this one end within like a two week period of each other and I don't remember which one ends first um so I want to get those paid off so I don't have any balances on those um that will collect interest because I have until November to do this one um, and then once these ones are paid off, then I'll be able to hit this one really hard, um, and continue my other payments. So yeah, anyways, that is my plan for this year. Um, and just to kind of show you guys, I did kind of put everything I know there was this is 50 over here and the other one says seven that's because it doesn't include um, my collection bills um, but this is how I kind of started to go off as far as which bills I wanted to pay first um, I also did so this is my tracker as far as how much I've been budgeting to pay off and how much actually I paid on um, and then that's just a worksheet and then this is the highest APR yeah just a calendar all right guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget um, if you like it give it a thumbs up if you didn't hey hold give me a thumbs down any questions or comments please feel to feel free to comment down below and again everyone happy new year bye bye